Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast with Jane Rogers, where we discuss science to help prevent cognitive decline. I am a dog lover, and several years ago, I learned of the Dog Aging Project at the University of Washington. Using a drug called rapamycin, these dogs are living longer and healthier. Rapamycin targets the molecular causes of Alzheimer's. If it's helping dogs, could it work in humans? Dr. Matt Caberlin is the director of the Dog Aging Project, and he joins us to share what he's learned. And so there's this idea that to some extent, aging is the continued activation of mTOR at a suboptimal level post-reproductively that drives all of these different diseases and declines in function. And so consistent with that, if we inhibit mTOR in adults, again, at least in laboratory animals, we can delay those diseases of aging, increase lifespan, and actually in some cases, actually restore function that's already been lost, which is pretty exciting from a therapeutic perspective. It's not only about slowing down the decline. In some cases, we might actually be able to reverse some of the decline. The other thing we know is that in mice, you know, there's a little bit of a, there's a lot of debate about whether mice can be used as a good model for Alzheimer's disease. Um, Because mice during normal aging don't get true Alzheimer's disease, but they do show cognitive decline with age during normal aging. And the cool thing about rapamycin is that in the mouse models, it's been shown in basically all of the major mouse models of Alzheimer's disease to be beneficial. It's also been shown to delay or prevent normal age-related cognitive decline in mice. So, and this is why I think it's, it's, you know, it's a better bet than, than things that just affect the Alzheimer's disease models in mice. Because those Alzheimer's disease models are kind of missing the normal aging component, the, the, the changes that go along with normal aging. And, you know, Alzheimer's disease, if you think of all of the different diseases of aging, Alzheimer's disease, you know, is one of the, the, the strongest in terms of, of risk as a function of age. 